When you tell me so much love and peace to go round, so much love for the whole world on a beautiful day. You're watching Hello Nigeria. You're watching Hello Nigeria. Don't touch the dial. Hello Nigeria. Sit back and relax. Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. And in case you're just tuning in, you're well in time to hear the seasoned expert come to join us and analyze all the stories that we have today lots of you hear her voice on radio every morning on your way to work on 99.3 nigeria info crossfire but today you see her voice as you get to on some days of the week here on hello nigeria it is as always a delight to have webimo adewini with us here on hello Yay! nigeria and i must tell them that this is your natural <laughs> hair why did you have to say that yeah because your hair is so beautiful ah, like i feel like you. you should wear your hair out a lot more i know but I do, you know how that we don't now i mean you can't carry this all the time you have to because it will break the weather yeah then you get bored with it i really wish i could just take a scissors and cut it yeah that's the thing they say what people do not people don't value what they have until they lose it so now ah, you wish you could take a scissors i love take a local... scissors <laughs> and cut it first, then, you're, then, then I, I can believe you. We are struggling to grow our hair since 1999. <laughs> but I hope you had a good week. Yeah? I did, I did. Okay. I did. So we're starting the conversation back again to the EFCC saga. A brief recap for those who have not been up to date with all that's been going on on social media. Grab your popcorn because, you know, social media is the place where all the gist is happening. I tell you. It started out with the conversation of Simi, um, who, the singer who came out in an Instagram live video to speak against, strongly against internet fraud. And while, while she, when she was being cautioned, a lot of people said, oh, you are, you are attacking these Yahoo Yahoo boys. Now, for those they who don't know what... Music. Exactly. For those who don't know what Yahoo Yahoo means, Yahoo Yahoo is a code slang name for oh, internet fraud. fraud. Exactly. So they said, these guys buy your music, they pay for tables at your events. These are the people that you should not should not attack them because they are making you who you are today. And Simi strongly said that if you're into internet fraud, you should not buy her music. Now, that sparked the conversation. Some for her, some against her. Several celebrities stood up to show their support. The likes of Emma Abaga speaking strongly in support of her. Of course, Adekunle Gold supported her. You know, rugged man. Rugged man. Now, Ali Baba. Exactly. Ali Baba has even taken the fight extra. He goes further to say, if you are benefiting from internet fraud, if you will not speak against internet fraud, please feel free to unfollow me. Yeah. Because if I see that you're in support, I will I'll block, block you. you. I don't want you in my space. Right. I mean, and, and I absolutely love that kind of support. And it, it goes beyond just talking about it. You then take the action. So if you're saying they're buying tables at your event, but you realize they're making some people cry to buy those tables, they should rather not buy the tables. In fact, somebody um, attacked Ali Baba in his comment section saying, you're speaking against Yahoo Yahoo, but then you do your events and then you have a table and the table is as high as one million. How many, how many civil servants or how many people do you expect to be able to afford a table for one million so you if mean they are not internet stealing. fraud stars? So only people who still have money. That's, is that so what that means? Thing. So that's, that's just like... So all successful people are thieves. Is that what they mean? So people are judging their level of wealth or their level yes. of comfort. They're using it as a general yardstick. Yeah. And I saw somebody who responded to that comment, which I thought was a very brilliant comment. The person said, it's just like saying that the airlines should not fly business class. class or first class. Because, because you can only afford economy. Exactly, because you can only afford economy. And then economy. everyone who flies, flies first class, they're all thieves. Is that how it works? Exactly. No. So now the conversation shifted from Alibaba. But of course, it's still an ongoing conversation mm. on this page to Naira Mali and Simi Narmali going, of course, to confront Simi in her comment section about internet fraud. And there's been some back and forth here and there. Even but now it's a shift not... from Narmali and Simi to Narmali against Rugged Man, with Rugged Man speaking so strongly against it. Now, I think it was on Naira Mali's birthday that he was being picked up by the Economic Financial Crimes Commission, he and Zlatan Ibile. We know that in response to what's, in response to the argument he had with Simi, he went and dropped a single titled Am I Yahoo Boy? Yahoo boy. <laughs> so it was more of him playing with Simi's name and saying, Simi, see Simi, trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Am I Yahoo Boy? And of course, his support supporters and his followers reposted and it became a thing. Mm. And then they picked him up. And then police PRO Okweto Dolakbo had come out to also respond, stating that you know, she made some remarks and people linked it to the arrest being made. First of all, before I go to what this writer has said, mm. what are your thoughts on the whole back and forth, people supporting? Oh, by the way, someone else has come out to speak against it is um, 
LD to Don, mm. who people attacked for saying that, you know, you back in the day you sang in support of Yahoo, you and Olumenten. You know, Olumenten sang Yahoo <laughs> and, you know, it was cool then. So now why no, you coming? then, the Yahoo then was a dance. It wasn't... Oh, no, but the... No, the... Like they meant fraud. They were fraud, yes, in a way. You Actually, know. because if you look at the video, remember exactly. the video, a lot of money throwing around. A lot of money. Around. So that dance step was, you know, so, you, you know, I just realized money. Yeah. that we have intern Yahoo, we have expert Yahoo, and that we have retired Yahoo men. So if you're my Twitter handle, I made a call. And if you're watching me, please... I'm looking for either an intern Yahoo person, an expert, or a retired person to please talk to me. I'd like to hear your story, know why you do what you do, because we all say what they're doing is wrong, but I believe they have a story to tell. It's wrong anyway, but if you'd like to tell your story with me, chat me up. But for those that have come out to blatantly, you know, oppose this act, it is wrong. I mean, we've talked about this over and over again. Even for you, who's a thief, you stole this money for someone, but somehow you feel entitled to that money. And if you check your account and that money is no longer there, you feel like your world is coming crashing down because... Money that you stole. Money that you stole. So imagine someone who had worked all their lives for this same money. How do they feel when your money is suddenly gone? So I like that people are coming out. And I really like that the EFCC arrested Naramali. Come for me. Why? Yes. Now, he obviously supports Yahoo. Now, his song, Am I Yahoo Guy? Uh, Yahoo boy does not say that he's a Yahoo person, but if you look at his tweet and comment, it, me it shows that he has a lot of people around him who uh, engage in internet fraud. And of course, the ESCC would invite him. actually the police to have carried out that arrest to say, so we need to investigate and then find the people you are connected to who do this fraud. If you if you arrest Naramali, I'm certain with this arrest, they would get so many of these guys. Who do this I think thing. the question people are asking is, as much as we are against Yahoo or internet fraud, mm. as the case may be, we don't also want to step on fundamental rights. You know, we don't step on humans' rights, their rights to liberty, their rights to fair, fair hearing and representation Yeah, in they'll court. have a fair so hearing in court. The thing court. is, they've been held in court for how many days? And we know that, you know, their procedures this, usually... This was, um, oh, this was on Friday? It's been quite a while. Okay, so maybe let's say the, the argument weekend. that the next working day... Is on Monday. So, so that's Friday and, and Monday. And the thing is, on what grounds did you arrest them exactly. if they are being arrested? Was there a crime? Could they establish a prima facie evidence? Was there, was there a charge? You know, against them. I will never be in support of internet fraud. I would never think internet fraud is right. You know, I, I, I'm all for diligent hard work, um, diligent efforts, you putting in the hard yeah. work and not trying and to cut the, corners. The surface, yeah. I will never support it. But in the same breath, we don't want to fall down the justice, the pillars of justice in our country. We don't want to, we don't want to make arrests because of our emotions. Yeah, and you see FCC have made these mistakes over time. So most of the arrests they've carried out, we don't see full prosecution because then they've done media trial. They've said, oh, we've arrested this person. Get, and then they get to court, they can't prove why they've arrested you. So, so now this which is what this guy is saying. political thieves get away with it. And beyond them getting away with it, Ayo, what's his name again? He's saying, um, yes, Ayo Shonaya, is saying that you're making heroes out of them. A lot of them have come out and say, what you're doing is you're making heroes out of them because their followers and their fans and their fanatics would say, oh, what is the crime against them? You're making them, you didn't actually, if you can't prove that there was a reason, there was mm. a, a major case or there was evidence against them, so people I, I can't read, say I, a lot of rubbish. I read Ayo Shonaya's article. I had to take my time to read all of it. And I see that in his opening, uh, he talks about... Uh, the how, shots. Yeah, how this reminds you of them, Pablo, of the drug lords of yes. Mexico, you know, and all the bad things going on there. But he clarified by saying that the things those guys did did not affect the majority of, of the uh, citizens of their country, unlike what happens in Nigeria. So there's internet fraud, and then you travel out, you want to do legit business, but the very fact that you're a Nigerian, people begin to suspect you. So I'll just read out a quote. Totally yes, he totally condemned it. Let, I'll just read out, you know, two, uh, a paragraph from the article that he put out. He said, so while he, he made reference first to other mock shots of, you know, people like yeah. Lil Wayne, James Brown, Snoop Dogg, Frank Sinatra, and the likes of them. He says, so while other mock shots are for personal crimes that only themselves got punished for, our own future legend peak is about glamorizing a crime that 180 million Nigerians pay for every day in all ramifications and all over the world as we are all seen as fraudsters and thieves. He went further to say that the crime in question in the EFCC peak is we fraud. It is fraud. Let us stop calling it Yahoo Yahoo because that obviously has some cool 
turn to it, you know, it's, it's cool to a lot of youths, and we desperately need to re-strategize the war against crime in our country from the top to the bottom. So what are you saying there? Separate issues. Please, sir, we're not all... I am not. So that's exactly what he's saying, but uh, it makes it look, you know, because they are now, they've now made it a general thing, you know, that, you know, yeah, it's so a... Yeah, so Nigerian, it casts as pressure, most you go outside, even if your business is legal. But remember that Nigerians, we have amnesia, historical amnesia. We don't remember things. Yes. So after a while, we've forgotten about it. You know what? We'll go on a very quick break. When we come back, we'll touch on this a little bit, you know, asking if people who have been guilty of a crime before are allowed to air their opinion on the same crime. Because some people say, oh, if you've been a yao yao person or you've committed, committed internet fraud before, you cannot speak against it. And I can't hear, wait to hear what my most thoughts are on this. Mm -hmm. And I'm asking this because people attacked LD Didon saying that he did uh -huh. a song you know, I think it was a big boy. I've forgotten the song that Yahuze. he said he did. No, Yao was Olu maintained. So they attacked him for having done, yeah, big boy, you know, having done a song that glorified illicit gotten wealth, e.g., hmm. internet fraud, and now coming out to speak strongly against it. And they said, shut so up. So it's an, ex, it's an guilty. Example. So you've done it before. He's a retired uh, Yao. Not exactly. He might have been. <laughs> no, we don't know for we certain. Don't know. That's that why he was, he might, that's exactly. why I scratched that. He might have been, but you look at all the songs. But let's assume songs... he wasn't a, a an internet first. Let's assume that he sang in support of it. Does he have the right to now come and yeah, sing against Yeah, why not? That? So even for people that are sent to prison, it's meant to be rehabilitative, reformative. So over the years, you've seen life and experience, and you then see that it's not worth it. You see our parents, you see, if you look at their older pictures, you see them really short skirts and the boogie. See through tops. You, you know what I'm saying? And then when they're talking to you, as they're giving you this counsel, they're like, Mom, see, hold on. You I did saw your same. picture. I saw your photo. I did that to my mommy. But... Hi, Mommy. I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> we saw the pictures. <laughs> but they're talking from a place of experience. There's no what the exposure led them to. So when they're guiding you, it's from experience. So for those who have done the same, who now come out and say, don't do it, I respect that they've been through it, that they've changed. It's worse if they become grand lords. And they say, go, oh, I've been through it. Nothing happened to me. Just go ahead and do the same. True. So it's good that they're coming out to say, I've done it. it it's bad. So don't do it. Or that I supported it before. And I I'm didn't know my mind. better. You are allowed to change You're your allowed. mind. It's so I totally to... support what Wemimo has said. People are allowed to change their mind. There are things that I said a few years ago that I look back on and, and yeah. I think, oh, that was such a stupid standpoint. Absolutely. Because I didn't know better then, but I do know better now. So even if you feel like you've, you've committed a crime or you've, you know, you've participated in a lot of these offenses, mm. do not feel embarrassed to speak up against them. Yeah. You are allowed to change your mind. You're allowed to change your perspective. You should even be an You're allowed ambassador. to evolve, yes. to grow, to develop. Remember, once again, that you're allowed to be both a masterpiece and a work in progress. But that's all we can take, take for now. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. To enjoy more of this, our Ubunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.